Hello everyone, my name is Otávio Santana and today let's talk about a three states of object with a boolean and why it's paired to our design code. Okay, first, let's create the context. Imagine right now that I have a document and this document has a name, description, and three types. One is, okay, it's, it's document might belong to a person or belongs to a company, or it was not processed yet, okay? Let me create, and based on that information, I will know how long days it takes to receive an answer from the government, for example. So let me create a class, new document. This document will have three fields, a name, a description, and the last my three states with a boolean okay in this case here i will put is person and then i i put two getters name and descriptions and the last one you be my state so public int get days and then i need to check okay if is person is new that means it it was not loaded yet so i will do the load so person i will set the next boolean and then okay if is person returns it returns and on to 10 days if not it is a company it will return on 20 days first why it's bad first because uh, it's far from the domain right because the domain does not has any de description about okay the instance is not initialized we have three states is person, is not person, is not loaded. Second, what happened when I decide to have more states or more options here? Like, okay, I want to create a new document for start startups. Uh, the boolean won't be enough. So, to have more clear code, to have more, uh, to, to the code be more explicit, to be more explicit, I really recommend you to don't use boolean with three states. Okay, I'll explain it why boolean with these three states is not a good idea. Uh, and remember, it's far from the business perspective, it's far from domain. Uh, it gives me a poor design. I can make more my code more explicit. And besides, when I decide to have one more state, uh, it will be impossible with Boolean. Another point, remember, the two valid values for Boolean are true and false. Okay? What I can do right now is to create an un. Remember, the previous video, I explained the power of an un. So I will create my an untype and right now I have three options I have my person I have the company and finally I have my unprocessed information okay I will move my doc document type here where I will have my type. On based on that type, I can do a couple of validations. For example, here 
I have my uh, okay return days so I can do my abstract int get days and then do the procedure here as you already know if you can you are able to also explore lambdas so let's do this over here and then it's a invalid state of my object right so legal state so 10 10 20 and right now my document my get days are more explicit so i can return type get days i able to define here uh for example uh the default value that is unprocessed and okay otavio i need to check first so what can i do is okay if type is um process study i need to do that operation again using none load and then this type you choose some random value just to simplify i will put person here and that is it remember i able to create methods here so basically it is unprocessed because if this equals this little guy here let's run the code to test it i able to okay let's test the code so i will create my document here create test i will create my test and right now you are able to create your description where i need to create a constructor here with those two types should create document and based on that uh octavio this kitchen i can oops no you i able to return the days and by definition it should be equals to 10 okay let's run this code here and see what's going on yes it's so difficult so basically i moved the information to the type that's my simplify a lot you're able to put some methods and remember that java 8 or higher has more types for example you're able to use durations here so the duration day it should be more semantic of days duration of days 10 so basically what i do have here is my my options on my enum and i can create a strategic idea to this point here so something goes wrong so uh, yeah 
the duration here. And okay, what's going on? Ah, the duration here. The duration here, one moment, oops. And then when I run again, it will be okay. And that is it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the idea. There is one more option that I won't cover today is when I have more complexity, another option you be to use a state partner to define it, okay? So again, avoid to use Boolean because it's a poor design. It don't, it's not close to the business. Instead, you are able to use a type such as an enum, we're able to put some, several options that I talked in the previous video. And if I have a more complex uh, states, that is also the state partner that I want cover here. Hopefully you enjoy and see you soon. Bye.